Here we have a video showing the electric propulsion system that I installed on Homewood. There's the main generator which supplies the power. This is the main engine, Blister Blackstone. We're going to now look at the electric propulsion system in detail. There is the main framework that I mounted the system on. There is the gearbox complete with the sprocket and the double drive chains going down onto the shaft. And as we come round we can see the connection where the electric motor is and now we're going to have a look at the electric control system. This is a 440 volt inverter system and this is how we operate the reverse and forward gears. All operated and controlled from a main switch on the panel. There we are, 22 kilowatt, 440 volt AC. Now we go back and have a look at the system in operation. Again the electric motor there on the right hand side driving the gearbox all mounted on a framework which is easily raised and lowered to install the chain system. So you can do all this within about five minutes of the main engine stopping. There's the main handle that I use for winding the framework up to tighten the chains. Let's have a look now at how we operate this system if we're in an emergency and we need to drive the ship. Already on stop, already working, press the start button. There we are, just winding up very slowly and steadily, turning the shaft now. Best always to start slowly so I've already programmed the inverter to start the system slowly. As you can see it's a good solid system. Let's have a look now at how we can change direction. There we are. Now you see the sprocket drive system turning the propeller via the shaft in the opposite direction. Now once you've got your system operational you can then increase the speed. Let's have a look at how we do that. That's easy. Press the top button, up goes the speed. We can get up to about 120, 130 revs which would give us approximately six knots which is pretty useful when you're in an emergency. There we have the drive system turning the main shaft. Easily operating. The generator is not struggling. Now we're going to have a look at how we would reverse the system again. So we, we lower the revs, same as you would on a main engine. Lower the revs before you change direction. Now we're going to change direction. You'll be able to see on this occasion how it actually slows down, stops and changes back the other way again. There we are nice and easy operation. No dramas, easy operation and we will have of course the remote control in the bridge so we can do all this from the bridge and control the speed and direction of the ship. Simple operation to stop, just press the red button and the whole system shuts down. So there we have the electric drive propulsion system.